After the Kakamega County governorship race went south for Cleofas Malala, trouble has continued to follow him after DCI officers from Kakamega forcefully broke into his home. At around 1 p.m. today, police officers arrived here and broke the main gate and entered Malala's compound. The reason for breaking and entering has not yet been determined. Today, our officers went to Santa Marara's uh, residence uh, on a mission to summon him to the station or arrest him. This is because he has been summoned to the station from yesterday. He has not turned up. His legal team led by Grace Mboru, confronting the officers wanting to know if they had a warrant of arrest on Cleophas, but no one listened to her. We've not seen any warrants of arrest. All we are sure of is the fact that this arises from the elections that were just carried out, huh? which we feel has been a bit unfair. You know, there was a bit of unfairness on the side that was targeted. There was a lot of issues on the other side also, but we seem to have been the only people who have been targeted. Anybody related to Cleophas was the only one who has been targeted with any police action. But we are still sorting this out as a legal team, so I may not say anything that should go on the record at this point. Eh? When his mother came to know what was going on with her son, pain and anger overwhelmed her. This is too unfair. This is and we are not going to allow. Which country is Barasa this? Barasa got his votes and let him relax as a, a governor of Kakamega. And tell Oparanya to, tell get, Oparanya out of this, to get, get out of this. And tell Oparanya his son cannot be tortured like this. We are Kenyans and we are going to fight over this. It must be fought by the ballot. And Kilawa said, Sawa, yeah, and he surrendered. Why, why are you doing Sasa, this to my son? Sasa, we are taking him. We are taking him. Hey. Why are you doing this to our son? We are taking our children here our and our grandchildren are here. Put our vehicle. Malala's parents associating her son's plight with the last election that the ongoing governor is allegedly responsible for. You cannot torture my, my son like this. It's not allowed. It's not allowed in Kenya. No. Let us go to court. When is he a criminal where you're coming like what, this what, what has he done? The raid comes a few days after Malala lost to ODM's Fernandez Baraza in the Kakamega gubernatorial race. Baraza garnered 192-929 votes with Malala of Amani National Congress ANC coming in second with 159,508 votes. For Ebro TV, Amode Francis. Thank you.